Greetings! In this tutorial, we'll look at recording audio in FL Studio 20.1 onward. Since we're recording into the playlist, we'll start by setting FL Studio to Song Mode. And I'll arm the main recording button. Right click it to check audio recording is selected. Next, choose a playlist track to record into. Right click the title bar and select Track Mode, Audio Track and then select the mixer insert you want to record from. I'll select mixer insert 1, which is now selected here. Also, as I'm recording without headphones and don't want my voice to feedback from the speakers into the microphone, I'll deselect the master send from the recording channel here. Now I can select my mic input from the mixer input menu. Note the top part of the list is stereo inputs and the lower part mono. Finally, Click play and start recording. This is my first audio track. One, two, three. Excellent. Notice the audio clip has been routed back to the track it was recorded from. This is my first audio track. One, two, three. So if you want to record another take, mute the existing recording before making another. Otherwise, it'll be blended with the new recording. Notice also, when I select an input, the insert track is auto-armed for recording. This is my second audio track. One, two, three. Great. Now let's have a look at some of the most common reasons recording might fail. First, as I showed, is audio selected in the recording filter. The purpose is to allow independent recording of audio, notes and automation. If audio isn't selected, audio won't record, no matter how hard you click the record button. Are you in song mode? If not, your recordings will end up as an audio clip in the channel rack. Is the mixer menu option, disk recording, auto create audio clip selected? Do you have an active input selected in the mixer input menu? Also note, audio recording isn't available for FL Studio Fruity Edition. You can upgrade to Producer Edition to unlock this feature. Are both the mixer track you're recording from and the master recording switch armed? Both need to be read for audio recording to work. Now some options. On Windows machines, from the Audio tab, make sure you have an ASIO driver selected. If you're using FL Studio ASIO, in some cases, if Windows is defaulted to some other input device, to explicitly select your input here. On macOS, make sure the built-in audio input is selected or your audio interface. If you need to access the built-in audio settings, open the Finder and select Applications. Then search for Audio MIDI and select Audio MIDI Setup. From there, you can choose your input device and also aggregate devices. This will allow you to use multiple audio interfaces at once. See the video information for more on that. Specifically for macOS Mojave 10.14 onward, you must give FL Studio permission to use your microphone. That's under the System Preferences, Security and Privacy, and select Applications. And once you've selected the microphone on the left, tick FL Studio. Don't forget to click the lock icon and enter your password to make changes. Hmm, one, two, three, four, five. Probably time I used a better password. And that's it. For the full step-by-step -step instructions, click the link in the video info. Until next time, enjoy recording audio in FL Studio. There's a light over the ocean. There's a wind to